look at this. Look at all of those ossicones. Look at all of those spots. Those long eyelashes, long necks, long tongues. They're just such beautiful animals. And this is truly my new happy place. Hello everyone and welcome back to Suhula Sands Safari where we are watching over our growing tower of giraffes. As you guys probably know by now, a group of giraffes is called a tower and these two are mating! They're mating! Are we gonna have more baby giraffes? Please, joyful! Oh, joyful! Joyful! Oh my gosh! Okay, she is not pregnant. Who is she trying to mate with though? Because I better not be Venture. Venture, is that you? Okay, good, it was Discovery. <laughs> Thankfully, we have enough males in here that we probably won't end up with too many inbreeding incidents, but I do wanna be a little bit mindful of that, so we might have to rotate some of the old males out and uh, give them a, a bachelor herd of their very own, which I think could be very useful too. We could probably just expand kind of a section of this huge area, and we could make a little chunk of it that would be just for the bachelor herd of giraffe males. In fact, how many giraffes usually like to hang out in a male bachelor herd? Let us find out by opening up the nifty Zoopedia. Uh, and actually, giraffes do travel in groups. We really have a hard time, I think, as humans conceptualizing the way that giraffes hang out because when giraffes are in a group, they don't verbalize. They don't really allo groom. They don't allo preen. They don't like groom one another. They don't really play. They don't interact in ways that we're used to seeing animals interact, including even animals. <gasps> Joy is expecting offspring after all. Oh, Joy, I am so, oh, Joyful. It's Joyful's mom, Joy. And she's expecting offspring with a venture. <gasps> That's so good. That potentially means a, another wonderful uh, gold level adult because they are both very healthy. Yes, very happy about that. And Joyful is actually their daughter. So her mom is currently pregnant, which is awesome. But yeah, giraffes don't really play. They don't hang out together. They don't interact the way that we're used to seeing with different animals being together. So it's very easy to think the giraffes just happen, quote unquote, to be standing next to each other. And actually they do, like they, they just happen to be standing next to each other. They don't really care if each other are there, but there has been research shown that they are very aware of one another. They're kind of, they depend on each other like lighthouses basically out on the open savanna. Being able to watch another giraffe and see how they're reacting actually allows the group of giraffe to stay safer so they do hang out in groups like that there is competition though if you have a bunch of males come together they might start fighting over the females and that's why they'll kind of disperse a little bit and they don't seem to mind being alone but i think they definitely have some perks from being in a group especially mothers and calves who groups of mothers and their calves do tend to kind of drift together but again, it's very loose association. I don't know if you'd call it friendships. I really want more research done on like relationships between giraffes. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. <laughs> Giggles, you always are giving me a reason to giggle. And you are also pregnant. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. I love our giraffes. I really do. Uh, anyway, I could ramble about them all day. But Rahan over here is thirsty, so let's call over one of the keepers. Oh, thank good. Look at that! I am so impressed. The dried up well needed some attention, and our ancient textile expert was on it. Very, very proud about that. Let's actually come in and move all of these guys to the trade center. And we'll put in these two high quality puff adders back into the dried up well to continue earning money as people research the dried up well. Also, speaking of bachelor herds of giraffes, <laughs> Nelly! <gasps> Are we having some fighting amongst the females now? Oh no, it's because Ajani has now reached adulthood. He's gonna go into bachelor herd and we'll deal with that in a little bit. Phew, all right, but I got distracted by my love of giraffes. 
Hello everyone, I hope you have your zookeeper outfit on and your sunscreen. The sun is actually quite high in the sky here on our safari land. And it is finally time to turn our attentions back to the African wild dogs because they are missing their matriarch. We do have our pack right now. We have Rakala, who is now missing his female. And then we have got their his children, Zayed and Tony. Ferox, and we have their daughter. So I think it's actually time for Sapio to go ahead and we're gonna send her out. She was on contraceptives this whole time. She's gonna go look for her very own family now. So that's how African wild dogs work. The females will disperse from the pack. And we're going to try to find African wild dog. There we go. In her place, not in a copy, that's for our other zoo, for sure. We're going to try to find a female African wild dog who is very, very healthy and ready to come and be part of the family. And there we go. We found her. Perfect. Yes. And her name is Felis, which I think is really funny. We're going to add her on in. And we're actually going to put our wild dog female up for so we're gonna send our female out then to see if maybe she can find a new home so we have Felis she's arriving we're going to try trading Sapio and we'll trade her let's see I got the gold for 2000 so we'll trade uh, Sapio you know if she can find 1400 that'd make me happy all right, where is the female? Has she been? <gasps> Here she comes! Yay, you guys! Here we go! Felis has now joined the pack. I think that that is kind of hilarious to have because Felis is like cats, right? <laughs> I'm going to double check that. Like, yeah, Felis is the, the, like, the genus of cats. So that's like the Latin family group that you would give to a cat. I actually think that's hilarious. So I'm gonna leave her name Felice. Uh, we'll call her Felicia because that's just, that tickles me. Uh, and we adopted a species. There we go. Release three reticulated giraffes to the wild for three, for some monies. You know what? We might do that because we could definitely get some conservation rating up. We have some good conservation rating actually. But all right, now we have Felicia, Felicia. And let's actually see, Rakala is the gold male, so he would be a good father again. <gasps> Look at the boys bringing her treats. They're like, well, hello, how are you? But for now, we're going to go ahead and give all of the younger males contraceptives. Let's go over to Ferox as well, because they're silver level, and I would actually prefer having their dad have another shot at some some new puppies all right there we go yay all right family management for our, our wild dogs hopefully that will work out very well for them uh oh and you know what we need to do we need to start teaching people about them we need to give people like some good education about what's going down with our awesome animals so let's come on in and actually increase the education opportunities Let's see, guest facilities, would it be guest facilities or would it be viewing devices? Screens and cameras, it would be screens and cameras, look at that. All right, let's find something nice, desert terrarium, hmm. African wild dog sign, I would love to use that one. That's why we've slowed down. Oh, am I researching something with our mechanic? Yay, we're getting new power with Gardener Jev. I really need him to research some other things, too, so that we could start <laughs> unlocking those. But patience will be rewarded. Let's see. Let's continue looking for a good education thing that I might be able to use. Log exhibit. That's not quite what I want. Because you want the education stations to look really cool, and I have a whole bunch of really fun-looking sign sets, but I can't put them down yet. Curses! All right, if that's the case, how should I do this? Maybe we could do a crumbling rock wall? 
Would that be like a cool backdrop to a nice sign? Hmm. Hmm. This is really- Oh, and we need to spruce up the rock. Oh, we need to give Felis a new thing. All right, we need to put in some sort of decorative item for Felis. Let's do this bead thing, because she's quite the unique new addition to the family, so I think that would be fun. These adorable little tiny decorative rocks. Tiny decorative rocks. Let's see, sign strips. Little fence post. There's also hanging cloths. Oh, look at this cute little Origins button domes. I don't even know what I would use them for, but I like them. Ah, oh, this memorial hut. <gasps> this is really, really cool. I love this idea. Okay, maybe we'll put down the memorial hut. And what we'll do for this memorial hut is we can tuck the sign inside here. I love it. We'll put in the education signs in the memorial hut. Oh, which needs to go into the ground, please. <laughs> Whoops. All right, that'll work. There's also like sculpture collections we can put in and we can add in speakers too. Um, ooh, that's a cool sculpture collection. What the heck? I love seeing what people have built. All right, let's put down this memorial hut. And it says memorial hut, but we're gonna make it into like a little education spot where it can be a storytelling hut. There we go. We'll say that this is a nice storytelling spot. All right, and then let's clear that grass out. It'd be really cute to have like a storytelling hut. Let's trim this grass down, guys. Maybe a little over here too. You gotta think outside the box to be able just to keep yourself super duper happy. And then with these displays, now I can't see a thing. That's fine. <laughs> That's totally fine. That's all I wanted, of course. Not to be able to see a thing. There we go. And then I'll put the hut maybe right... Okay, still can't see a thing. But we can at least add in some info about the African wild dog. Inside of the storytelling hut, which I like. Opaline, don't inbreed. Oh dear. With... Oh, Andy would be the only male right now. Oh dear. All right. Well, did that pay off? Thank- oh, curses. All right, so Opaline is now pregnant. I might need to rotate out our lead zebra, Andy. He is still really young though, so oof. All right, Opaline, I'm gonna put you on contraceptives. <laughs> Just so- <gasps> Joyful! Joyful's expecting babies with adventure. Please tell me that's not your dad. Dang it, it's your dad. But somehow it didn't count as inbreeding? Or I was just distracted with the zebra's inbreeding? Oh dear. All right, well, we're starting to get some info things down for the African wild dogs. Hmm. I think I need to be a little more aggressive with more things for information for them. So let's see. Cause this is gonna be all about the African wild dog family after all. I need to see what's going on. So if we have this stand, how could I decorate it really quickly to blend in perfectly? There's little bracelet things. I mean, that's kind of cool. There's branches, decorative rocks, decorative strips. I think there's like a fence. Yeah, there's like little fencing you can put down. So I might be able to put down fencing, hanging baskets. Oh, a little hut! I could make a cute little hut. Here's a little hut base. Oh, geez. This stuff gets pretty adorable pretty fast. There's also just like lamp bases. Hey, that's kind of useful. I like that you can actually see. Let's see, let's see. The sunshade extenders. Oh, that's fun. So you can make like a sunshade thing. I mean, that could be kind of cool. Make a little sunshade pavilion. The thing is, it, it takes a lot of work, <laughs> like a lot of work to be able to make these little decorative pieces. Oh, scaffold tower. There's so much cool stuff, you guys. Oh, the African wild dogs are just going after. <gasps> There's giraffe, calf, statues. 
We're going to have to make a statue market to sell those. I am tickled. I had no idea those even existed. All right, let's get this canopy up as well. I can hear the wild dogs making all sorts of happy little chirpy noises. I want to give their elder dad a chance to breed again. So hopefully the zebras are just breeding like absolute bonkers. <laughs> we might have to do something about that soon. But I did want to give the African wild dog's dad... <gasps> Giggles has had her offspring! Oh my goodness. Okay, let's scooch this over. All right, scooch over a little bit. And boom. That's actually not so bad. I still have a lot of pieces, like a lot of ways I want to play with this a little more. But that's, that's, not, that's not as terrible as it could be. We'll work on that. Also, Giggles, you had a baby. Oh, is this your baby, Giggles? Oh, she's perfect. Look at her. Oh, we're going to go ahead and name her Laughter. What a lovely little one. She is gold starred. She is happy. We have giraffes being born left, right, and center. I am so happy about that. Oh my goodness. Uh, and oh, I know what I want to do now to get more education information down. Let's actually grab a drum. I think that would be really fun. Let's grab these drums and make like a little drum set. And inside the drums, we're actually going to hide in just a moment here after I get some more pieces down. Let's see. We could do maybe one of these pieces. We could put down just a normal pot. <gasps> Look at this giraffe neck! What the heck? There's abstract giraffe neck art? Are you kidding me? I had no idea! Oh, why have I not spent more time over here? This is just glorious. We're going to have a good time back there. I promise you that, guys. We're going to have a good time. There's even gigantic signs that I could go ahead and type on to welcome people. We could do big decorative claws. That would be really, really fun for a section that has, um, oh gosh, a section that is going to have, going to have the lions. There's a whole bunch of lamps we could, we could model off of. Gosh, I got distracted. This is this is quite exciting. There's also like a little hammock we could put down. All right, there's a middle hut. Well, what we actually want are like these small rocks. Just a small rock. Don't need a big rock. Just a little small rock. To have like a little drum set, I think. There we go. I can even turn the face in towards here. And then we'll get one more little drum. Uh, that's probably gonna be a good thing. And you can even change the colors of the drums, which I think is really fun. All right, I'm gonna change that color. Let's do some like bright, fun colors. And then some light colors and a green, just because. All right. Then next up, let's add in some plants. Daisies? I have a lot of new African foliage that I'm going to be experimenting with. Um, Maybe some of the grass, bearberry bushes. I mean, that would be kind of nice, but I want to try to keep to a little bit of an African theme. Oh, but I am a, such a sucker for the ferns. <gasps> I am a huge sucker for the ferns. All right. Fern give me, but I have to add in some ferns. Because <laughs> I am a sucker for them. All right. Water treatment failed. That's not good. Call mechanic. I feel like nobody is going to this back village, so we definitely need to work on that. But let's get the final piece couple of final pieces in on this little plant that we're making really quickly. Oh, the Dutchman's Breach is one of my favorite plants. One of my favorite plants. What happens if I put elephant grass in here? Oh, I like it. I like it. I love it. I want it. I got it. Let's see. 
We'll tuck this one down here a little bit. Can I rotate it so it won't... There we go. Alright, and then we can come in and we can put... Ta-da! The educational speaker. Alright, let's get the educational speaker in here. Whoa, sorry about that guys, my dad called and they had to see what he needed. But we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna put down an educational speaker that shall hide inside of this drum set, which makes me so happy. Because I think that that would be so cute to imagine like we've got this music and we've got like all of this storytelling going on here at the storytelling booth. We're going to add in, let's do African Wild Dog. And how big do I want this range? I think maybe this range is good. And I think we'll move the drums to be like closer to the actual animal that it's about. Because we'll put down another drum set for the song of our giraffes, which will make me so happy. So, all right, we'll put this one down and we'll kind of like hide it. I want just a very, very, oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't need a second one. What the heck? All right, let's move. So I actually put two in there by accident. And we'll move this right over here. I'm gonna leave just the very edge of the speaker so that I can see where it is for renaming it in other areas. And then we're gonna actually add in some music too, which I think is so fun. The music speaker, yes! We haven't used a music speaker in a long time. And for the music speaker, we will leave just the edge of the music speaker as well. And I'm actually gonna turn both of these off for just a second. Oh, this is so cool. And I'm gonna add in maybe some ambient music. This will probably be a lot of sound, but I love it. Okay, so we're just gonna make this into, hmm, should I add in another plant, you think? We can add in more plants as needed on an as-needed basis. This is gonna be our African drum song. Yeah, African drum song stones. So, a place to listen to the story of the land. Excellent. I like that a lot. What a clever way to kind of play with that idea. Uh, and now we'll go ahead Grab all of it, merge into group, and we're gonna move this. All right, where should we put it? I think we'll put this one maybe right over here. So it can be next to where the wild dogs are. And that people can have like a nice little song of the dogs playing. And how we'll fix this is coming in educational speaker, African wild dogs, and people on this side of the road will get to hear about the African wild dogs. And then we'll wiggle on down. Come along friends, we're almost there. The music speaker, yes! Let's do, ooh, tall savanna grass, or let's do the whole playlist, the Africa playlist. And then let's do ambient sound right there. Get out of my way, sir. Out of my way. Oh, the bird's nest leaf is in the way. All right, how, why can I not? I think these people are in my way. <laughs> All right, if you if you guys could, do please. All right, out of my way. Let's get that ambient drums set up everywhere that we can say has like the sounds playing. And we'll do, let's do insects of the jungle. And whoops, now we're gonna hide all of those about our wild dogs and the wild dog family, which will hopefully continue to flourish. So a new matriarch for the wild dog family. I'm pretty excited. I hope that she will settle in quite well. Let's see, how can I get to the speaker? Ooh, that's a good way to try. Decorative rock, elephant grass. Hmm. Out of my way, elephant grass. And speaker, there we go. 
I could probably hide the speaker because we're probably always going to want to have it playing African music. So we'll work on that next time. Okay, over a little bit. Perfect. Ta-da! And now people will have an even better way to sit back, relax. Ah, oh, I can hear the music. It's very faint, but I think that now we'll have like more sounds, more ambient sounds starting up. Yay! And Nelly the zebra is expecting offspring! Huzzah! I'm going to work more on the wild dog family to get more little drum sets set up everywhere. And now we just need to see if Felicia will end up mating anytime soon with Rakala who might be a little too old for it. So is he too old to mate? Let's find out. He is too old to mate. <gasps> okay. So the time is nigh. I think what we actually need to do is give all of the boys a chance. They're all silver level males. We're gonna actually take all of the boys off of contraceptives. And then we're going to sit back and we're going to see who the new king of the African wild dogs will be next time. Uh, speaking of next time, I need to definitely put these amazing statues up somewhere. I love them. Ah, but alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our beautiful safari with all of its wonderful discoveries of spots and stripes. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.